According to Facebook executive Sheryl Sandberg, Men are just not washing enough dishes and changing enough dirty diapers. Her organisation, Lean In, is spearheading a feminist PR campaign backed by the NBA to lecture men to, quote, take more responsibility for housework and childcare, ordering them to do their, quote, fair share of daily chores by taking care of, quote, dishes in the sink or laundry piling up. I tell women all the time, let your husband put the diaper on the kid's head. Just let him do it himself. We need to live in a world where men do half, women let them do half, and being a parent's not a full-time job for a woman and a part-time job for a man. Right, because it's not as if men are already doing their fair share of chores, is it? Taking out the trash, cutting the grass, yard work, shoveling snow, fixing cars, general repairs. Nothing! Men just get home, beat their wives, shout at their children, sink into the sofa, and crack open a six-pack. It's not as if men work more hours than women. It's not as if men work far more dangerous jobs than women. It's not as if 92% of all workplace fatalities are men. It's not as if men are four times more likely to commit suicide. No, men have got it just too damn easy and they need to get their asses in that kitchen. And who have feminists enlisted to deliver this lecture? LeBron James, a guy who's probably got five maids and spends about three hours a week at home. But isn't it ironic that Sandberg, architect of the Ban Bossy campaign, is now bossing men on how to behave in the privacy of their own homes. But it doesn't seem to concern the NBA that Sandberg's Ban Bossy campaign was based on completely fraudulent and debunked statistics. No, they're more concerned about being called sexist if they refuse to prostrate themselves and be used as a mouthpiece for this new brand of corporate feminism. But isn't it ironic that Sandberg is pushing a feminist campaign for a 50-50 share of the housework when for decades feminist groups have opposed the 50-50 share of child support burden. So who's supporting this campaign? A brave coalition of grassroots feminist groups? No. Bank of America, Brown Brothers Harriman, Citibank, DuPont, GE, Goldman Sachs, GlaxoSmithKline, Morgan Stanley and Time Warner. In other words, the very corporate patriarchy that feminists rail against. Because as with every major feminist PR campaign, this has nothing to do with advancing equality and everything to do with creating more division between the sexes through social engineering and the promotion of misandry. Sorry, it's a boy. <laughs> We're talking untold millions of dollars in free advertising, months of NBA commercials for this, Google devoting its homepage to the campaign, Yahoo, Microsoft, and of course Facebook, all in support. And just by coincidence, as she prepares to launch her presidential run on the foundation of the debunked pay gap myth, Hillary Clinton is also throwing her support behind the initiative. Listen, divorce rates are already in the 40 to 50% margin. There's a direct correlation between the rise of feminism in Western society and the rise in divorce rates. Feminism has clearly been a disaster for relationships between men and women. Feminism is a cancer to marriage in America. This campaign is only going to lead to more pressure on men, more resentment, more arguments, and the breakdown of more relationships. So Sheryl Sandberg, Hillary Clinton, the NBA, and all the moronic feminists promoting this, stop lecturing people on how to behave in the privacy of their own fucking homes. Stop being bossy by dictating how gender roles and household tasks should be decided upon by couples. Stop implying that men are deficient or losers because they're not doing enough laundry or not cleaning enough dirty dishes after they've broken their backs all day working two jobs just to put food on the table. Stop exploiting the communication power of corporate giants to push cultural Marxism, which will eventually leave not just men, but particularly women, financially insecure, regretful, alone, and miserable just like the army of joyless feminist harpies that you represent. Check out the other videos, subscribe to the channel. I'm Paul Joseph Watson for InfoWars.com.